I think my mother was born to be a conductor. My mother grew up with music. She began playing the piano at a really young age and soon music became the center of her universe. Even when she was a young girl, like 12 years old, she was the one rallying the neighborhood kids. She was the one making them put on concerts. They would organize evenings. They would make their own tickets. They would do their own costumes, the works. She joined Dr. Paranjodi's choir when she was 16 years old and very soon she became his right-hand lady. Uh, she would take rehearsals, she would be his assistant in many ways, so when he died in 67, people thought that she should be the, the choice to lead the chorus and become the next conductor, and she did. One of the things she loves performing are African-American spirituals. It's really wonderful to see a choir of women dressed in saris singing music that African-Americans normally sing. It's unusual and brilliant. And they were singing a set of spirituals in a very big uh, concert in Stuttgart, Germany once, and they were sharing the concert with a choir from America. The conductor was black, and he comes up to her in the intermission, he takes her hand with wonder and awe, and then he rubs the hand and he goes, there's gotta be black in there somewhere. My mother is a formidable and talented woman who has always marched to the beat of her own drummer. She never, ever gives less than 100%. And if she's going to do something, she's gonna do it right. And if she puts her mind to something, it's going to get done. My mother enjoys cultures from around the world, be it food, people, places, and music. She loves to perform music from the four corners of the earth in their original languages, in a huge variety of styles. She's brought this international music to Bombay and to India. And she's taken Indian music that was composed for her by composers like Paranjoti and Vanraj Bhatia and Amal Dev, to the four corners of the earth. She's disseminating Indian music all over the world and bringing the world to India. Her first international tour was in 1974 where she took the choir all around Europe. But the highlight of that trip was her two weeks in Poland. They had many concerts all over the country. And one morning on the morning of a particularly important concert, this organizer takes her aside privately and says, you do realize that this is not just a concert, it's a major international competition. They had no idea. Uh, she took this information in. She thought it best not to tell the choir so that they wouldn't freak out. Or So she took, she took it upon herself to take the burden of this, this shock. But she did her thing. She got on that stage and she delivered a phenomenal concert. Phenomenal enough for them to win first prize. Before her 50th anniversary concert last November, she tore the cartilages in both her knees. Ten days before the concert, she couldn't walk. Come concert day, ten days after these tears, she's standing on that Tata Theatre stage, two hours, conducting Mozart. No one in the audience had any clue that this 84-year-old woman had two torn cartilages in her knees, and that concert was phenomenal. That's her magic.